hello everybody. I'm uh, making this video now to uh, talk to you about uh, some uh, important stuff which has come out. Um, there's a story which is making very big news, which is talking about um, uh, if uh, Michelle Obama is a man or not. Um, it's it's an it's a rumor which has been spreading, and uh, it's uh, it's uh, become uh, it's become like a mainstream media story now. Um, it started with uh, Joan Rivers, who said that um, uh, Michelle Obama was a man, was a transsexual, and um, so uh, now uh, Alex Jones is talking about it. Uh, he, this is this is the article here, this video, which is with uh, Alex Jones, saying, "Is Michelle Obama a man?" You see here. They then do the test and then don't release them. And, and the Russians got caught in the Olympics, of course, back in the seventies and eighties, having. So uh, the the story is is really getting a lot of coverage, and. Um, so um, I, I think that this is just a symptom because um, uh, Obama's whole presidency is, is like, like a, a train wreck, but in slow motion, a slow motion train wreck going down, just disintegrating, like exploding. Um, it, first, uh, like uh, about a year ago, I, I can't remember exactly when it happened, the Obamacare rollout, which was a disaster and it still is a disaster. And um, I'm going to explain a little bit about what Obama's got going on in his head, what's going on in his head. He, he did this Obamacare rollout. And um, uh, Rahm Emanuel, who was in the White House at the time, he said, we're doing this on purpose. We're, we're, we're making this uh, disaster on purpose because we want Obamacare to explode, we want the whole system to break down, and we want the insurance companies to come to the government and say, we can't do this, the Obamacare cannot work, so uh, bail us out. And Ram Emanuel said, said, and then we do the single payer system, which is that uh, people are sick, the American people are sick, they go to the government, and the government uh, he, uh, gives them medical service. And uh, it's like a social, it's like socialist government. And so they made this Obamacare thing just as a, as a hurdle to, to, to destroy Medicaid. Um, so this year there's been Obamacare rollout, you know, and this is, this is all good. Uh, Obama loves this. He's like uh, Nero in, in Rome. Rome was destroying and Nero was happy. He wants to destroy things. He's, he's like, a, he has a... He's just like a punk who likes to set fires everywhere. Just likes to make mayhem around him. Um, then there was the uh, the veterans, the veterans uh, uh, retirement payments, which was a disaster. And what happened in Syria and in Iraq was a disaster. And um, and uh, Obama's happy with this. He 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 likes to leave to create disasters. And now the border. I mean, you can look at the border, what's going on at the border. I mean, he's trucking people in so that they fight with the, with the people at the border. He wants to create this chaos. He's happy with that. And uh, so now people are saying, uh, now people are kind of adding to the mayhem by, by saying that uh, Michelle Obama is, uh, is a man. And so people, people, are, people are just, uh, it's just adding mayhem to mayhem. And, it, it, okay, so if you look at the Bible, there's this uh, prophecy of uh, the Apocalypse. And it says that the Antichrist will, uh, will have an action in Israel and he'll, he'll go, get on the throne. And uh, he'll sit on the throne. So that's happening too. You look at in Israel, uh, they're fighting between the Palestinians and the, uh, and the, Jew, the Jews. And they're bombing right now. Today is uh, Thursday, the, the 10th 
of uh, July. So if you if you catch this video later on, today is the day when the bombing is going on, and uh, the uh, Hamas in Gaza are sending bombs, sending missiles towards Israel, and Israel is shooting down the missiles, and they're pounding Gaza with their planes. So this is this is again, you know, this is good for Obama. He wants mayhem everywhere. So. And now he's uh, now he's even got Israel to, to do what he wants, you know. To, he, he's drawn Israel into the mayhem. So he, he, con he controls everything. He controls Israel too. So now the, the prophecy of the Bible is, is realizing that he's, he's getting um, he, he's getting control of Israel. So now he's, we can say uh, figuratively, uh, he's sitting on the throne in, in Israel. He's managed uh, to make the, the Israelis uh, do what he wants, which is put them into conflict with, he, he, he makes people fight. What, he, what Obama wants to do is make people fight because he, he has a mental problem. I'm gonna to get to that. So what I'm saying is that this, this disaster which is, he creates is Obama's victory. For him, it's a victory because he has a mental disorder which is called narcissism and this is the same disorder as hitler had and a lot of uh, a lot of people have this this disorder uh here we can look at that i made an article just now which is about this disorder and i made an article called the lunatic in the white house world-class psychiatrist warns of global calamity with obama so this is a psychiatrist called sam vaknin so he says, Obama clearly shows a narcissistic style. And then he says, narcissism always leads to bad things happening. So people like uh, Hitler, uh, Stalin, uh, there are people like Kurt Cobain of uh, Nirvana, uh, Madonna. There are a lot of, these people are, are, are uh, suffering from a mental illness, which is called narcissism. And um, they, uh, they want to... They, they think of themselves as being kind of perfect and uh, that nobody understands them and they're, they're in a class, class apart, a class of their own, and uh, they think that they're just like geniuses. And, uh, but the only thing that they can do is destroy themselves. That's the only, that's the only thing that they're capable of doing. And uh, so um, it's very difficult for families with somebody who's narcissistic, or if they're at a company, you have a big company like Enron, there was a, the boss of Enron was a narcissist. But now, he's saying, now we, we're talking about the United States of America. And so, when you have a narcissist like Obama uh, at the head of the United States, then we're talking about a global calamity, like the calamity for the whole world. And uh, so the doctor says, regrettably, there's no other end game but self and other destruction for the narcissist. And th this guy did a uh, study of Obama's speech and uh, what he was saying and the way he was, uh, his, his uh, body language. He looked at thousands and thousands of hours of tape of Obama's speeches and everything when he, before he became president. So this guy is talking, this uh, video, which I'm showing here, this was, he just made this a couple of days ago. But this is a guy who's studied Obama deeply for six years. And this psychiatrist is the world authority on narcissism. So uh, he says, um, regrettably, there's no other end game but self and other destruction for the narcissist. Narcissists are sick people. And they're not allowed, uh, not able to do anything else. They, they're, they're programmed. It's what they what they do is uh, is uh, invariable. They cannot escape from it. It's their destiny. Um, Ted Bundy. Ted Bundy is an example. He was a narcissist. But uh, the, the big famous killers, the pathological, the psych, the psychopaths, the great killers, they're narcissists. Um, Hitler, Mengele. Uh, a guy called Heydrich who wiped out all the Jews in, in Czechoslovakia. He was such a vicious murderer, such a madman, that the uh, resistance movement in Czechoslovakia, they went in to kill him. They, they assassinated him because he, he was just uncontrollable. This uh, guy called Heydrich, who was Hitler's, uh, Hitler's favorite Nazi. Um, so, 
the guy says, um, the guy says, if my diagnosis of Obama is correct, that he is a narcissist, then my prognosis is, ver is very dire. That means his, his uh, prognosis means uh, the way of getting out of it, the healing. The, the, the method of healing the guy is very dire. He says there's no way of, of, of healing the guy, of healing Obama, because it's too late. Uh, to, to be able to heal Obama, he would have had to go into therapy. But uh, he's too busy now. He's too busy. And, and now Obama is too close to his goal. He's so close to his goal that you can't talk to him anymore because, because now he really wants to go all the way to the end game. That's why the doctor says the end game. He says there's no other endgame but self and other destruction for the narcissist. So I, he says, he says I think the endgame is nigh. Nigh means now. It's upon you, the USA. So the endgame is upon us. That's where Obama wants to get to. Obama wants to get to his creating this uh, chaos everywhere. He's just like Hitler sitting in his bunker and uh, bombs are flying everywhere. And he's happy because this is what he wanted. He wanted the bombs to be everywhere. He, he wants to be like uh, sacrificed in Holocaust, uh, in sacrifice, sacrifice to, to, uh, to, uh, to God. But the narcissist thinks that he is God. Hitler thought he was God. Uh, Stalin thought he was God. And Obama thinks he was God. He is God. He thinks he's uh, the second coming. And the doctor says that uh, in, his, uh, in this uh, video. He says, Obama thinks Obama, uh, Obama thinks he is the second coming of Jesus. So uh, the doctor says, you may not realize it yet because it's unfolding in slow motion, but you're in the last inning. So he's saying that we are actually in the realization of this calamity. Because, you, you know, you can see it because Obama has set up this Obamacare. He passed it through the law. So the insurance companies are going to collapse. Uh, the, the, veterans, uh, the, the veterans are already, we're seeing the veterans' benefits are already uh, jeopardized. Uh, we can see uh, Syria and uh, Iraq. They're already primed up for, uh, for total destruction. To, they'll just kill each other in, in Iraq and and. Um, in Syria, there'll, there'll be no end to it. They'll, they'll kill each other themselves for 50 years. Um, uh, the border, look at the border. He's, uh, they say that uh, there are maybe, you know, maybe half a million uh, Mexicans coming over the border or South Americans. And they say next year it'll be double that or maybe much more than that. And, uh, and Obama's uh, having these terrorists come in from all over the world. Jihadists, Muslims for coming in from Africa, everywhere. They're just swarming America. So uh, he's preparing for this, this conflict. Okay, so here are some exam examples of these narcissists. Jim Jones, Saddam Hussein, Warren Beatty, Ryan O'Neill, Alec Baldwin, Sharon Stone, Elvis Presley, <laughs> Pablo Picasso. Lee Harvey Oswald, Donald Trump, <laughs> poor Donald Trump, Marlon Brando. Okay, these are like typical, but uh, here you have some narcissists. Adolf Hitler, Joseph Stalin, Joseph Mengele, Ted Bundy, Marlon Manson, Manson O.J. Simpson, Paris Hilton, Madonna. So th these are examples of these um, narcissists. And uh, the only way they go is by totally destroying themselves and destroying everybody else. That's what these people do. So um, people now are trying are are talking about uh, that uh, Michelle Obama is a man. But it's because people are wondering who these people are. Who are who are these uh, Michelle Obama? Who are Obama? Because Obama won't even reveal his birth certificate. So he's a total mystery man. So uh, people, people are just imagining all this crazy stuff about Obama. They're imagining how can somebody be so bad as he is? And uh, who is somebody who's so bad as he is? You know, people want to scratch the surface to know who these people are. But there's one secret which we must reveal and, and, and which is being revealed, like just by my article now. Uh, it's that you should remember that heaven marked Obama by 666 which makes him to be the Antichrist. Uh, I, I, put, I put this video here, and in this video it says that on the day after Obama's election, in his hometown, which is Chicago, 
The Chicago Lottery, the Illinois State Lottery, the big lottery of Illinois drew number 666. So um, that's the mark of the Antichrist. So Obama is not only a psychopath, uh, but he's also a, the Antichrist. And uh, the, you know, one can imagine the Antichrist is, is a psychopath. So, um, okay, at the bottom of this link in this article, when you get to read this article, you'll see there's a link here to the Army of Shambhala, which is uh, the, I've founded that, and uh, that uh, reveals, like the, the mission of that army is to reveal the Obama in the Buddhist apocalypse, because in the Buddhist apocalypse, it, uh, there's also like a demon who is announced and prophesied, and uh, the description of that demon is exactly, you know, Obama fits that exactly. So I'm convinced that Obama is the Antichrist for Christians, but he's also the demon uh, which is prophesied in the uh, Buddhist apocalypse in which we must defeat. The, the Buddhist apocalypse says that one must defeat that demon. So um, I hope you people are not too scared by everything I'm saying and that you can get to uh, find the links which I'm, I'm giving this article here and then also this article here with uh, uh, Alex Jones and uh, that we can manage to find some sense in all this madness which is this madness is Obama's madness but as the doctor said if we have such a madman who has come at this time, just like Hitler came in the, in the olden days and like Stalin, if we have these people who come, it's because uh, people, we as people, we are also responsible for that because at one moment we open the door for these people and we let these people in because we, at one moment, we put down, we let down our guard and we said, oh, everything is fine, you know, uh, we are, we, we can afford to tolerate evil inside our society. And it's our fault. It's the fault of people. So people have to, there's a day of reckoning, and there's a day of last judgment when we people must all look at ourselves and realize that we, at one moment, we let down our guard and we didn't make the difference between good and evil. And that's the responsibility of all spiritual religious people, people who have a moral background and uh, people who, who, who were, want to be people of good, that we must reject evil. We cannot say everything is cool or you have a, dr a drug dealer, you say, oh, that's cool. Uh, somebody is uh, a murderer and we say, oh, well, that's okay, you know, give him a second chance. Always, always uh, uh, the, where tolerance and uh, where, where you, you make buddy you become buddy with evil and you become a friend of evil and you can't do that. You can't do that. You have to make a different. First of all, you have to discriminate what is good and what is bad, what is evil and what is good. And you have to reject evil. And uh, in, in, if Hitler got to power, if Stalin got to power, it's because people stopped thinking like that. They didn't realize that they have to fight evil. At each generation, we have to fight evil. And uh, now uh, we have Hitler came in the, with the face of Obama. Uh, Obama, uh, Obama came and he was really behind Obama is Stalin. It's uh, dictators and these are, these are psychopaths. These are crazy people. So uh, you people join my army of Shambhala. You'll find the link, find the link in this article and come and join us. Okay, bye-bye.